What's going on with you? It's your main man DT here with another foodie for you. Now it's cold outside and I don't know about y'all, but I need some ramen in my life. Now when it gets cold, it's very common for ramen shops in Japan to be packed. And Lai Lai Te in Yokosuka is no different. Now Lai Lai Te is a chain and they have spots all over Japan, or so I'm told. But I haven't been able to find any others while driving except this one. So if you know any more, comment below and tell us where yours is. Also, since I'm such a nice guy, here are the coordinates for this spot. Now if you're familiar with this area or just on your way here on the expressway, you can get off at exit 9, Sahara, and make a left and it's about 200 meters away from the exit. Mm -hmm. And they have a delicious menu here too. I remember one time I came here and they had this special karage. Now that's fried chicken in Japanese. And this particular one had uh, cayenne peppers and all this other kind of stuff loaded on it. Ooh, it was so good if you're into that kind of thing. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button below this video or the small red box in the right corner of this video. There will be more vids and you don't want to miss these, trust me, I know all the spots. <laughs> okay then, anyone looking for a job? I'm just asking because the sign says Arubaito, which means a part-time job in Japanese. Inquire inside for more details, go on and get paid. So like I was mentioning before, we had to wait outside because it's packed, but they also have COVID mitigations in place. They have screens at the tables, hand sanitizers, and other things. Oh, and by the way, it's also worth mentioning that this place does have stools for single customers or couples, but if you are a family coming here, you will have to sit at a Japanese style table now me myself, I'm almost six foot, so I have to extend my legs underneath the table. Now over the two decades that I've been here, I've never been able to master the Japanese style of sitting. For a while I was doing well when I was taking Aikido, but that was very long ago. And I'm a lot older now, so no more of that. And if you sit at these tables, you will have to take your shoes off. So fellas, make sure you wear matching socks and hit those dogs up with the odor eaters if you have to. <laughs> I cleared out a whole family after I took my boys off. Just joking. They were already done eating. I promise. Let's look at this menu, shall we? While we wait outside. Hmm. I want that, 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 and that. Hey, do you like spicy ramen? Well, they have two types here. One with a set level of spiciness. I'm getting that one. And one where you can pick your level. I've tried that one before and my lips were numb for about an hour. So you decide. They also have fried rice or chow han, which I'm going to order. And I think the wife is going to get the ajitama ramen or marinated egg ramen with extra noodles so that she can share with the kids. I'm going to teach you how to request extra noodles like she did and teach you something else once we get inside. It's getting chilly out here. Our turn. Yes, let's go inside. Okay, we're here at the table as happy and warm as we can be. And I have a three month old. He is in his car seat sitting on the floor adjacent to the table. This is our little space. These click connect car seats are invaluable while living in Japan or anywhere really where there are tight spaces. And the best part, he's a quiet kid so we can eat in peace. We got lucky today. Perfect day for a video. Okay, so they have forks for those that are hashi or chopstick challenged. Here's the drink menu. Now if you remember in my Genchan food video, I pointed out the katakana for soft drinks on the menu. Well here it is again. I will tell you what they are, but if you want to learn katakana, check out my video how to read and write Japanese katakana because it's just about everywhere, katakana that is. And I mean that, take a look, here, check this out. See what I'm talking about? These are all food items in katakana and kanji. And the prices below, those are kanji symbols. But I'll get back to that later. 
The drinks are as follows. Oolong tea, Pepsi Cola, Lamune, which is an old Japanese soda, Nachan apple and Nachan orange. Now these are children's drinks found in soda machines or what's called Hanbaiki in Japanese. That's what beverage vending machines are called. And finally, Kalpis water. Mm. So we placed our order, now we wait. <laughs> oh yeah, check out this wall, would ya? Let's get back to that. Like in my other food video, Genchan, also on this playlist, check it out if you have some time. They have prices here on the wall in kanji. Now this is common in sushi and ramen shops all over Japan, and you should probably take the time to learn the characters if you really want to travel, which I have a video for, and the numbers, which I have a cheat sheet for right here. Cue the cheat sheet for kanji characters. If you have to, you can screenshot those, and if you're a weary traveler and want to be out and about, you'll need it, trust me. Now it's time to eat. This is the wife's marinated egg ramen. She asked for them to go easy on the oil because she's wanting to share it with the kids. And she also asked for extra noodles. And this is why I make these videos. It's not just to eat in front of you, but to teach you things as well. That's important to me. So to ask for extra noodles in Japanese, it's omori. And actually, you can use omori in a lot of different situations. For example, if you want a larger bowl of beef bowl than the normal size, you would ask for omori because omori basically means a larger portion or larger size. And if you don't like your ramen with too much pork fat and the oil associated with it, you would use seyabura, which basically means pork fat fat, and nuki, which means without. So seyabura nuki, or you can tell them seyabura skoshi, which means a little bit of pork fat, or take it easy on the pork fat basically i actually know a guy that has fatty liver disease by the way and wanted to eat ramen so bad so teaching him this kept him out of the hospital but let's not get too dark and keep having fun now check out my ramen mm, 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 mm. now this one is a spicy miso with a set spiciness and check out this gyoza. Question for you, do you like dipping your gyoza in a ramen soup like I do? If so, comment below. And here's the chow han with lots of onion or negi. And there you go. So if you ever have time, check out Lai Lai Te. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Today you learned how to say part-time job or arubaito in Japanese. You also learn some kanji numbers, the word for drink, vending machine, and how to ask the waiter to make your ramen without so much pork fat in it. In addition, you know how to ask for a larger portion of a meal now. All that in one video, and the food was absolutely delicious. It's one of our favorite spots, and I'm glad I could share that with you. As usual, don't forget to comment, like, and especially subscribe. Show your love, because content creators contribute a lot to the YouTube community. And you can stay up to date with all of my content especially. And I bid you a good day. See you on the next one. DT out.